Hey guys, what's going on today? This is your boy Dal Su playing some more Banished this morning on this rainy, rainy day. I mean, just in the game. It's beautiful here. I live in New Orleans. I don't know where you're living, but it is like 50 degrees outside and sun shining. What a place. Although I wouldn't want you visiting me in the summertime because then I'd be ashamed to take you outside into the goddamn sauna that I live in. You're talking like, you go to check the mailbox and it's instant swamp ass. It's not a pleasant place. During the summertime. The murder rate even goes up. That's how bad it is. Anyway, it's freaking beautiful today, although not in my pixelated world of Banished, which is really where I'm spending most of my time anyway. I mean, outdoors is great and all, but this is Banished. There's really no comparison. So, getting into things. Uh, we have a huge sheep sheep field now. Sheep, sheep pasture. Whatever, you know. Hillock, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. What, what do you call it? Paddock. That's it. That's the word people use, right? I don't know. Again, ask a farmer. So, I was thinking maybe another house or two up here, and then maybe actually harvesting some of the trees. Let's harvest some of the trees. We're getting a little bit low on those trees. Let's harvest them. And we were going to turn on these two apiaries we built. So, we'll need two. We can actually... Put even more people in them, but we can't really afford more more apiists. Yeah, I did not look that up. I just happened to know that. We we don't need more beekeepers right now. Uh, we don't have the uh, amount of free laborers to justify that. And continuously, we want to be upgrading these houses because before long, we'll be getting ready for country house, which is the next great upgrade. Uh, of course, that's going to require some things, some stuff, some gear that we don't really have available right now. But that's okay. We're almost at our food cap. Once we get, once we do get to the food cap, we'll have a lot more of these guys chopping. But uh, it's fine for right now. I'm surprised we can't keep a higher stock of firewood, either. I suppose we could put more people into... I mean, these guys are making quite a bit, really. Yeah, I mean, four or five hundred a, a season is what we can expect. And if we click over here, we can see kind of like how much firewood gets gets used, can't we? Fuel. Current. Used, produced, used, produced. Yeah, we're a little bit under what we need uh, because also, we're, I think this guy is probably using most of the firewood. In fact, we might be ready to turn him off for a while. Let's see. Inventory. Furnace fuel is what it's called. Furnace fuel 348. I wish we could put a cap just on furnace fuel. That would be useful. I know that the limits of, of programming and all that would make that more difficult. But that would be really freaking cool if you could do individual. And I think there's a way to do that. I think what you have to do is build a distribution barn. Functions as a normal, normal storage barn. Oh, it's this one. Adjustable storage for your available range of products and resources. You must have at least one of a product type for its storage button to appear. Will only be released into your town when, it dec when you decrease the number of items manually. Hmm. Okay, that is interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, I'm really interested in getting my candle buildings going. Chandleries. Right? You can remember, because, you know, Chandler's a very well-known last name. And first name, if you've ever seen Friends. My favorite character by by a long shot. I mean, Joey's just totally boring. Phoebe's psychotic. Jennifer Aniston is vapid. And uh, then you have Chandler, who's like a ray of sunshine in an otherwise dreary, boring sitcom. That's my opinion, anyway. So... In homage to Chandler Bing, we'll build some Chandleries this episode. 
over here, this is in what's our planned industrial area. Although, apiaries aren't really super industrial, I don't think. What does this guy have? He just showed up, didn't he? He's got some food. He's a green grocer. We could get back to our cap if we wanted to. But you know, I think our food production is solid, as is. And they've almost got all this cut already, so... I don't see that being real important. I'm glad my health has popped back up as well. And this episode, I probably just do a lot of upgrading of housing. Do two at a time. Always having two. Right, I'm, I put my beef cows in here, but I'm not working it. So they are actually in danger of dying there. I think I fixed the situation, though. So now they'll have an actual, actual person to take care of them. And hopefully they'll do better. I'm thinking actually flattening this. So that this is kind of... I know I said I wouldn't abuse the power flattening tool, and I'm, you know, I'm not. But this is going to be an important, like, dock area, probably, in the future, so... I'm going to flatten that. It's a little bit cheeky, but that's what we're going to do. I'm just human, after all. The power button is so cool. Having a few children born here and there. But still, eight laborers is not really as much as I would like, especially the way I'm kind of continuing on here with the Chandleries. The Chandleries, I think... Um, require a minimum of, of just one person to work like everything else. There's a lot of jobs that I could fill um, if I wanted to, you know, get some extra production. No. I don't know. Maybe I should accept them at some point and that would give me a lot more. I was just talking about how I don't have enough labor. But I just don't trust this game. You know, I feel like they're gonna bring, and maybe I'm xenophobic or something, but I don't trust the I don't trust the the natives, the refugees in this game either. You know, they might bring all kind of cultural problems into Dalsuvius, and we can't have that. I'm speaking, of course, again, not in any kind of grander sense, but just in the very base sense of the world on my screen. So, you know, please don't. What's the word? Project your politics into Banished. Or into anything that I ever say, for God's sake. I just get on here and talk rubbish, so... If you take it seriously, it's probably... Did I buy cotton? I can't remember. Luckily I have a town hall. Um, I did not, and I would like to sincerely buy cotton. Since it, just, since it just came up. Uh, let's see if we can do that. We don't have 100 leather anymore. But we still might be able to get away with this. I doubt it, though. It's very expensive cotton seeds. Wow. 5,000. Really. 86. It's gonna get me close, but it's not. No cigar. Sorry. Dismiss. I mean, I don't need cotton that badly. I'm doing fine. We've reached our tool cap, which is a healthy 150. We don't need to go beyond that. We're making survival coats, which are very good. I assume they're better than than wool coats. We had a comment from Dead Inside, who's always leaving very helpful tips and stuff like that. And he agrees with me that the farther down you go... The better, the better the clothing is. So if I were to get cotton, I could upgrade to full cloth coats. But it's not super crucial, I don't think. I, personally, if it were me, and I was freezing out in the wilderness, and one person offered me a wool coat, and another person offered me a coat made out of fucking feathers and grass, I would most definitely take the wool coat. I think most people would too. But no, in this game, a survival coat is better. Supposedly. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. We're gonna walk around town looking like a damn 
feral chicken. But, you know, these, you know, there's no accounting for the taste of these little pixelated citizens, really. I don't know why they're here in the first place. Personally, I'd rather be in the French Quarter, you know, drinking Cavassier or whatever. But there's no account for taste. So we're going to upgrade those four houses while I'm sitting here talking more of my bullshit or whatever you want to call it. And I actually think maybe it might be cool to build a few more houses down here. And I don't know what I'm going to you know, do with this area. Eventually this will go. It'll have to go. And we'll just kind of expand down, down, down that way. But I think it's probably high time for some Chandleries. We've been talking and talking about Chandler, Chandler, Chandler. But this is 33%. And if we run out of that, if we run out of stone and we don't upgrade it, it's not going to be good for us. So let's go ahead and, and make our next buildings some Chandleries. And that's going to be where? Here, I think. Yeah, Chandlery. Okay. We've still got plenty of lumber. We haven't even come close to exhausting our initial lumber supply. But we will if we keep going at this rate. And we'll have to turn these guys back on to doing that. They seem f to, to be able to really produce plenty of firewood. And although this guy's gobbling up quite a bit, it's not, you know, it's not really enough to, to make a huge problem for us. I just want to watch that. I mean... This guy could be turned off eventually. He's going to probably produce a lot more furnace fuel than we need. And I wish we could check that directly, but I'm pretty sure that it's just going to fall under materials, right? But we can keep checking it. We can see last time it was 300 something. Now it's 400. So you do the math. Cliff notes, it's getting bigger. So we're going to have more than we need, really. And it looks like we just hit our food cap of 7,000. Which we only recently raised up, so that's good. I mean, we're, we're set on the food right now. I don't think we need to concern ourselves with food so much. I would like um, some grapes, though. And the grapes are going to mostly be used for wine. But also they're a good source of, you know, vitamin C and blah, blah, blah. Insert health bullshit. You know, what is it? What is it called? Tannins. Yeah, you need those tannins, man. This tannins, absolutely necess necessary for human health. Let me tell you. Sometimes when I get low on tannins, I just freak out. <laughs> no, not really. I'm not insane. Uh, <laughs> how would you even know? Oh yeah, I'm feeling really down today, Bob. Must just be that you're low on tannins. I'm sure there's tests for that. Anyway, um, producing quite a bit of honey. See, they just don't, they don't actually produce that much beeswax. And I wonder, if you're at the food cap, do they stop producing beeswax as well? That's a question. Do they just stop working totally, or do they continue making beeswax, but no honey? Because honey's a food, and you're capped out on the food, so... I don't know, interesting, interesting thought. Um, wow. This guy's really useful, and actually Dead Inside gave me a useful tip about this guy. Which was to tell him to, like, always bring stuff, every visit. And wow, he's got a lot of stuff I want. I definitely want candles. Um, all these other things would be nice too, but just mostly candles and... I think lumber, maybe. Deal tools would be even better. Um, not lumber, but uh, logs. Logs. I don't even see logs here, so... I mean, it's not that crucial. We can get our own damn logs. But look, he's got healing oils, which would be really nice. They're expensive, but let's get 200 of them. I won't buy homewares. I'll, I'll I'll do all that myself, you know. Let's just get let's just get the healing oils. We're not gonna be able to afford all that, but you know, give us give us a hundred and twenty and 
150, right? 150. There we go. No. God damn, I'm bad at math. That's okay. We can do this. 20 is going to get us up to 860. And then 40 will get us there. Right? Boom. Trade. That's going to keep us nice and healthy, I think. I like to buy those every now and then. Eventually, we'll have our own apothecary, and he'll be able to handle that. He or she, of course. You know, most apothecaries are probably old crones as the stereotype. Is that That's how the stereotype goes. I know that people think stereotypes are, like, the most horrible thing in the world and are totally evil, but, you know, I don't think that. I think stereotypes are cool. As long as you don't approach them from like a my myopic point of view where you're like that stereotype is the only thing that's ever true then stereotypes can be a kind of shorthand for human experience you know anyway i do go on but we've got these chandleries set up now they can actually work with two people but we'll just staff them with one for right now although it probably would have made more sense to just build one and staff it with two people but that's not how we do things here on the channel. I'm American. Double is better, always, no matter what. Anyway. We got that shit rocking. And I'm pretty happy. Uh, I will want to want to watch out for this because these guys, in my experience, even two of these apiaries are not enough to provide one chandlery with enough beeswax. So we will want more apiaries at some point, or we'll want to we'll want to staff these with more people. We are getting um, a bit of labor built up at this point, and we are getting quite a few upgrades done at this point. We'll wait for this one, and then we'll make some kind of move. These eggplants are going to be harvested, I guess. How much wool are we getting? Quite a bit. Quite a bit of wool. And I guess now we can trade the wool away, since we're doing our chicken suits and all. We might as well uh, go into here and say, like, I don't know what wool is going to be worth. It would be nice if they just went ahead and told you what it was going to be worth, but whatever. Let's do a hundred in each. Okay, so that'll be good because we we must have some kind of built up now. Yeah, we have well we have seventy two, so whatever. Wow, oh, we only have three stone. You know what we should do with these extra laborers is stick them in here. Yeah, well that's gonna exhaust. Well, we have a bit more quickly, but hopefully these chandleries are going to be able to make that happen real soon. And we'll want to keep an eye on them because we want to make sure all the beeswax gets used up. And we may do another apiary because, I mean, honey's a really important food, I think. I, in my mind, it's like the only sweet thing that you'd have. You know, if you were living in Dalsuvius right now. There's no processed sugar. You can't pop over to the 7-Eleven and get a Coca-Cola. So you, you got to go with honey. That's what all hunter-gatherer people use for sweets. They're willing to risk all the bee stings. But thankfully, we have them, like, nice and contained. And I don't think this is how apiaries actually look. I'm pretty sure they're, like, white boxes. But whatever. Again, stereotypes. There's that certain way that people think beehives all look. And I've yet to see a beehive that actually looks like that. <laughs> but, except in cartoons, of course. Some of the beeswaxes ended up way the hell up here, which is interesting. It's getting taken out now. That's not what we want. We don't want these guys to have to go all the way up there. But, I mean, the marketeer would be the one, you would think, who would do that. And, you know, it may make sense. Just go ahead and give them three people, because... I mean, they, they got a lot to do. It's outside of the range, though, but they go anywhere they need to go. Further afield, you know, to get what they need. So they, they deserve another worker or two. 
All right, so we have these two houses left to be upgraded over here. And I will set that to work. And then next episode, we'll try to grab some of these and then do all these. Just be kind of systematic about it. And then we'll decide maybe to throw down a few more houses, you know. But our population's been growing pretty smoothly. There hasn't been any kind of real issue so far. So we're just going to keep rocking it. I want to thank you guys for watching, especially those of you who watch all the way to the end. If you can put up with me for 20 minutes uh, just going on about absolutely nothing, then God God help you. I will see, I'll see you on the next episode. It's going to be tomorrow at the same time, morning. And uh, we'll just keep on going. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening.